Hi, I'm George Woodbury from the College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we'll be talking about the slope of a linear equation. The slope of a line, denoted m, is a measure of how steeply a line rises or falls as it moves to the right. If a line rises as it moves to the right, then its slope is positive, and if it falls as it moves to the right, then its slope is negative. To find the slope of a line, we need to calculate the rise over the run based on two points that we know that are on the line. In this example, we have one point here to the left at negative 3, negative 3, and a second point here to the right at positive 3, positive 2. To calculate the rise, which is the numerator of the slope, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units upward. And then to calculate the run, we, we move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units to the right. So the rise is 5, the run is 6, this slope is 5, 6. In this example, notice that the rise is 2 units, while the run is 4. The slope is 2 fourths, or simplified, 1 half. If a line passes through two points labeled x1, y1, and x2, y2, then we can calculate its slope using the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 minus y1 represents the rise, x2 minus x1 represents the run. Here's an example. We're going to find the slope of the line passing through the points 6, 8, and 7, negative 3. 6, 8 is our first point, x1, y1, 7, negative 3, x2, y2. Here's the formula. The second y minus the first, negative 3 minus 8, over the second x minus the first, 7 minus 6. This simplifies to be negative 11 over 1, or simply negative 11. The slope of a horizontal line is zero, while the slope of a vertical line is undefined. Find the slope of the line y equals 8 and graph it. Since this is a horizontal line, we know that the slope is zero. To graph the line, we plot the y-intercept at 0, 8 and draw the horizontal line that passes through it. Here's another example. We're going to find the slope of the line x equals negative 8 and graph it. This is a vertical line, so its slope is undefined. To graph the line, plot the x-intercept at negative 8, 0, and draw the vertical line that passes through it. The slope-intercept form of a line. The equation of a line is in slope-intercept form if it's written in the form y equals mx plus b, where y is isolated on one side of the equation. The coefficient of the x term is the slope m, while b represents the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, 0b. To graph a line using its slope and y-intercept, we first plot the y-intercept, then we use the slope of the line to find a second point. We finish by drawing a line that passes through these two points. You can add additional points if you wish. Okay, we're going to graph the line y equals negative 4x minus 2. We know that the y-intercept is 0, negative 2. The term on the right side without x tells us the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. The slope of this line is negative 4, the coefficient of the x term. A slope of negative 4 tells us that the line moves down 4 units for every 1 unit to the right. Down 4, 1 to the right. Down 4, 1 to the right. Here's the graph. We plot the y-intercept at 0, negative 2 count down four units, one to the right. Now we'll draw the line that passes through those two points. Here's another example. We're going to graph y equals negative four-thirds x minus three, another line that whose equation is in slope-intercept form. We know that the y-intercept is at zero, negative three, and the slope is negative four-thirds, which tells us the graph moves down four units for every three units it moves to the right. Plot the y-intercept at 0, negative 3. Then from that point, count down 4, 3 to the right. 
put a point there, draw the line that passes through these two points. Now we'll graph the line y equals 5 fourths x. Notice that there's no constant term after the x term. That tells us that our y-intercept is at the origin, 0, 0. The slope is 5 fourths, so we know that this line moves up 5 units for every 4 that it moves to the right. Begin by plotting the y-intercept at the origin, count up 5 units, and 4 to the right. Draw the line that passes through these two points. If you have any questions or comments on these or similar problems, go ahead and visit the contact page at my website, georgewoodbury.com. Thanks and good luck.